Hi everyone, it's Dr. Christy Harder, hoping you guys are having a really terrific day. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about bitters. Uh, you guys might uh, have heard the term bitter or seen your local bartender putting some bitters in cocktails. I wanted to talk a little bit about their use medicinally and kind of where uh, it all comes from uh, using the bitters. So um, they've bitter herbs have been used um, aging back to um, very, very, very early uh, ancient times in Egypt. Um, the use of them in cocktails got really popular in the 1800s. Uh, actually, my my husband's great, 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 great uh, grandfather actually started a company, Dr. Harder's um, medicine company, and they had a wild cherry bitter, uh, which uh, came out in 1855. So bitters have been around a long, long time. And what we've discovered recently is that there are bitter receptor sites all over our body. So um, in the past, we have thought that bitter receptors only resided on our tongue. And so the only you know, real big health benefit of bitters was to take them before or after a meal just to aid in digestion. What we know now is we have bitter receptor sites on our liver. We have them through our di digestive system. We have them on our tongue. We have them on our thyroid and, and in our endocrine system. So bitter herbs actually do a lot of different things in the body, especially when you take them on a really regular basis. I wanted just to, to show you, um, I, I make a lot of bitters at home for our own use. And so this is kind of my my collection of um, bitters. I do everything um, from licorice root. Um, here's some mushroom bitters, uh, porcini, wild lobster, chanterelles. Um, citrus makes really good bitters, so orange peel. I have some vanilla bean bitters, um, hibiscus and ginger, garlic, which is really potent. Uh, elderflower, which is great for the immune system, um, Althea, which is marshmallow, uh, cardamom, chamomile. Um, a lot of these herbs are used um, not just for their bitter potential, but also for other things like um, like roasted uh, dandelion is great, is a wonderful bitter herb. It tastes a little bit like chocolate when it's roasted, so um, that kind of makes a fun flavor. Um, but it's also, dandelion is amazing for the liver and for, for liver detoxification. And so an added benefit when you're using bitters is that you can use them not only for their bitter potential, but also to do you know other things like chamomile, um, probably all of you have heard, uh, if not used, chamomile. Um, it's a beautiful white uh, and yellow flower uh, that helps um, to calm the nervous system. So it's a nervine. Um, and so when you use it um, as a bitter, it's a, a very mild bitter, um, it can also help um, just to, to calm the nervous system down as well. So um, we have Dr. Harder's um, Botanicals. We have a bitter that is a little sweeter than most because we put a little honey in it. Um, but it is great to take uh, about 20 minutes before your meals so that you make sure that you can stimulate those digestive juices and digest your meal really well. And um, just if you have potentially an upset stomach after a big meal or you feel bloated, then you can take it after a meal as well. So um, hope that you guys learned a little bit about bitters today. Um, try some bitters, uh, not only in a cocktail, but um, for your digestive health as well. Be well.